I'm your daddy's brother, Tad. I'm Uncle Rob. Uncle Rob. If you'd like some identification... No, no, it's all right. I see the family resemblance. I remember hearing about you. I know who you are. Mm-hmm. May I come in? Uh, no. I don't think so. Not right now. I'm afraid I'm working on a case. I had heard that you were a private eye. No, that's right. Well, I used to do a little of that sort of work myself. Maybe I can help you with your case. I don't think so. Okay. Look, Uncle Rob, you and I don't know each other from Adam, so I hope you don't take this the, the wrong way, but uh, even if Ray Gardner was my father, that's only because he supplied the DNA. That's all he ever supplied. As far as I'm concerned, he was a twisted, evil son of a bitch that did nothing but specialize in torturing everybody he ever came in contact with. And I'm pretty sure I was smiling the day he died. Maybe it's someone Tad knows. I still don't like it. Jesse, what do you expect Tad to say? Uh, my, my friend who was supposedly dead the last 20 years is hiding upstairs, so could you please go away? I'm sorry. Oh, baby, it's not you. It's me. 20 years of having to look over my shoulder. It's just become habit. I gotta tell you, though, it's nice to have somebody watching your back. You mean Tad? You. And Tad and Frankie. But mostly you. Sometimes it's hard to believe it's real. Believe it, baby. Because it is real. It is real. Thank God. Look, Tad, I, I know who my brother was, and your opinion of him is shared by many others. Including you? Well... You know, Ray was my big brother. It's a little hard to let go of all that, despite of what he did. Thank you for being honest, anyway. I didn't come here to take a trip down memory lane with my brother. I know those are sad memories for everyone. I understand. Why did you come here? You're the only family I have, Dad, biological or otherwise, and I just thought that it was time that we got to know each other. I tell you what, listen, here, this, I'm going to write down my cell number here. I am staying at the Seasons East, that's just outside town. I'd like to talk to you. Okay. Is that okay? You're going to get in touch with me, or is that just okay? Okay, I've got a lot of work to finish, so. Of course you do, yes, I'll let you go. You look good, Dad. You look real good. I'll see you. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. Can we get this freak out of here? No problem. And you've never seen this man before tonight? No. You sure you don't want me to call a doctor? Actually, that's not a bad idea, can No, we? no, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. We'll call you if there are any more questions. Thanks again. Um, I should go get dressed. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Wait. Thank you for coming back. You're welcome. I should have been here, though. I'm sorry. But you look like you had him under control. You did a good job. He was going to rape me. Kendall. Uh, oh, no, he, he, he was going to rape me. I knew that's exactly what he wanted the second he walked hey, in the door, and he wasn't hey, going to stop. Hey, you're fine. Oh, my God. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not fine. I'm not. I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to, to act like this. Uh, you can... Kendall, you're fine, all right? If you want to cry, you want to, you want to scream, you want to hit me. I, I, no, I don't want to hit you. That guy obviously wanted something, but he didn't get it, because you stopped him. I did, didn't I? 
I, um, I told you about Richard Fields, right? With your so-called father, yeah. Why are you bringing him up now? He just popped into my head. Campbell, don't do it yourself. No, he was the man who took my mother and forced her to have sex with him. He raped her, Aiden. And I was the result. Kendall, please. No, I, I mean, of course, I didn't believe her. I didn't. I mean, I even tried to be a real daughter to that son of a bitch. He came back to town, and I actually pretended that he was daddy. Can you believe that? Until he went after Bianca. The man was stopped, all right? Yeah, that time. My grandma Mona killed him. And that's what I wanted to do to that man tonight. I wanted to take a knife and I wanted to stab it in his heart over and over and over again. I wanted to do it for my mother and I wanted to do it for my sister and I wanted to do it for me. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to kill him and I would have killed him. I would have. Uh, it's fine, it's just me. We're okay. Who was that kind of? Good old Uncle Robert. Who? It was none other than Ray Gardner's brother. I didn't know he had a brother. Mm -hmm. Jenny never mentioned him to me. To me, then? You know, I'm not surprised. My sister and I went to considerable trouble to prune that side of the family tree. Well, what did he want? He was just passing through Pine Valley. He wanted to connect with his last living relative. Oh, that must have been fun for you. You know, more like unexpected. What was he like? Was there anything like that crazy Ray Gardner? I don't know. It I mean, he seemed okay enough. Even offered to help me with a case because I used to do that kind of thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't need to hear about it. Neither do I. God, just hearing the name Gardner is bad enough. Considering all the beatings he ever threw me, what he did to Ruth. But he was never your real father, Tad. Joe is, and he yeah. always will be. I know, I know. But it's. So how'd you leave it with him? But I didn't. I mean, he gave me a phone number, but. Forget it. So I guess that's the end of you and good old Uncle Robert, huh? Well, we can only hope. On the other hand, it's probably not fair for me to blame him for all the lousy things my father did, but... You do anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter anyway. Let's talk about something important. Like, who's still after you after 20 years? Hmm. You still think John Remington is the key to this whole thing. We got our work cut out for us. I mean, all we know is, you know, you took a bullet for him in 88, and a year later, he still managed to get shot anyway. Hmm. It's a whole lot of dots to connect, so let's get started. I mean, what do we know? Well, Remy used to always play his cards really close to the vest. But when I was tailing him, he was suspected of money laundering. You know, if memory serves, it seems to me a whole lot of people were interested in these particular drug dealers back then. Yeah. It makes sense to me that the same people that tried to take me out took him out too, but why would they wait a whole year to do it? Because, I don't know, maybe they wanted to make sure that he had what they were looking for. I mean, they knew you didn't have it, so they started working on him. Or... Maybe they wanted the heat to die down a little bit because they didn't want the police to look too deeply into, you know, the connection between the two of you. Then why go after Jesse? He had already told them that he didn't know anything. And they thought I was dead. Well, they know you're alive now. And that you know they definitely want something. So, figure out who they are, we can ask them what they're interested in. And in the meantime... What happened? Is everybody okay? Uh, we're fine. We're just really, really happy to see you. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, I just was a little shaken up out there. What do you mean? Well, I uh, thought somebody was following me, and it turned out it was your Uncle Rob. Come on. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. I knew you'd do that. So, were you shocked? About what part? Oh, the part where I take the knife and I jab it into his heart over and over again. Oh, that. I probably wouldn't have. You know, don't be so sure. You know, sometimes when you feel hurt or you feel threatened, a rage can come over you that is so 
It's so intense that you can't control it. Spoken like a man who's been there before. A few more times than I'd like. What can you do? God, it's just, it's so hard to understand how men like that are wired. I mean, to want to, to, to dominate and to punish. I don't understand it either. You know, there's no lower form in life than a man that wants to take advantage of a woman. Yeah. I mean, if you'd have been holding that knife, I'd have been cheering you on. Mm-mm. I don't buy that for a minute. Oh, no? No, no. The Aiden Duvain I know would have taken the knife out of my hand and done the job himself. Quick, clean, no mess. Thanks for the vote of confidence. 